a voyage, dreams, water, shadows, yearning. Patagonia reveals itself slowly and deliberately. Patagonia draws you in and the intoxication cleanses and renews the soul of every traveler who ventures there. Under a beautiful blue morning sky, we left Puerto Natales. Our journey took us through the most gorgeous channel of water, a fjord called the Ultimate Hope. The water mesmerized us. It was crystal blue. It bubbled, it churned, and then faded away as our boat ferried on. As we looked off to our left, we saw hundreds of sea lions, some bathing on the rocks, while others seemed to watch us as our boat slowly invaded their territory. Ferrying on, off in the distance emerged beautiful snow-capped mountains. It was the first glimpse of the glacier area in springtime. There was a sound of cameras from the passengers on our boat. The snapping was incessant as they spoke German, French, Japanese, English. They expressed their excitement at the natural wonder of Patagonia. This springtime morning in Patagonia brought our group of pilgrims further into the fjord. The blue skies were clear, the snow-capped mountains stunningly beautiful, and waterfalls cascaded down the mountainsides. In the distance was the Alpine National Park, our destination for the day.
As we neared our destination, the trade winds picked up and brought the seawater splashing onto our boat, spraying us with the cool, cool mist. Slowly, we were becoming one with the mystical environment that we had read about before our trip. Deeper into the ultimate hope fjord we traveled. In the distance, Torres del Paine National Park drew us closer, and it was with great anticipation that we longed to set foot on the land. Minutes away was Monte Balmaceda Reserve, part of the Bernardo O'Higgins National Forest. Awestruck we saw the Serrano Glacier and sadly icy chunks that had broken away due to recent global warming effects. By boat, we continued our journey and had lunch in a rural area in the Andes called Estancia Paroles. Here there were sheep herders, gauchos on horseback, accompanied by their dogs, who expertly managed their herds, unaware of our presence. Under wooden huts for shade, the sheep herding dogs lazily rested after a long work day in the green pastures. Located northwest of Puerto Natales is the cave of the Milladome. It is 98 feet high 
and sits on the very edge of a very large hill. Inside are remains of human settlements. The cave is thought to have been used over 12,000 years ago by a mythical animal twice as large as a human being. Our guide led us into the cave and we followed along a concrete path. Slowly we entered deeper into the mouth of the cave. Once in the eye of the cave, we turned around to see the mountains and trees framed in the distance. Continuing to venture in, we experienced the mammoth roof nearly 100 feet high. At the end of the cave was a reconstructed maladon. This mythical animal towered high above us with stretched out arms as it had done nearly 12,000 years ago. Exiting the cave, we followed the gravel path back to our bus. The blue sky and billowing white clouds were a welcome relief after the darkness of the cave. In the distance, the Patagonian snow-capped mountains and crystal clear lake, a natural wonder, was a beautiful sight to behold.